Friday, or g'day, g'day. We're uh, started our first holiday, first sort of main trip of the year. I've just driven down this morning to uh, Yapoon, just having a quick, uh, quick bit of fish and chips for lunch. And then we'll uh, be meeting Tony and Renee for our little byfield adventure. So yeah, beautiful beaches here in Yapoon. Not much shade though, duck. I only get cooked eating this lunch here. Anyway, we'll tuck in. Check back in later when we get to camp. <laughs> Whoa. Boy, don't, don't be greedy. Yeah, yeah, mate, you can do the last one. There you go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well gone, mate. You're too funny, little fella. You're not too funny. Yes, you are. You're too funny. <laughs> Stopped off at the general store and got some wood. Oh, a bit of corrugations there. But it's a uh, $553 fine if you're caught for chainsaw in a national park. So I thought, oh well, there's plenty of, plenty of drop timber around. But uh, rather than pay 500 bucks, we just stopped up at the general store in Byfield to get some wood. And there was a bloody emu there. Michelle had a uh, pretty good time with that. Made her day apparently. So we're just driving into the uh, Upper Stony Creek area and we'll meet Tony and Renee there and uh, set up camp. <laughs> Hello! Oh, to see you! I'm so excited! We sort of got a little lost. Good, how are you? Yeah, very good. Um, the mozzie sprays out already. Yeah, yeah. I've already got um, I had one in your hand. Hello! Oh. <laughs> So good to see you guys. Hello. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Way too long. Yeah. Oh, the peak is beautiful. Oh, is it? Probably should go look at yeah, that man. first and then we'll worry about first the campsite. Time I'm yeah. that, eh? And I'm fucking peak levels are up here, eh? <laughs> what did I say? Like what did I say? <laughs> Just like me, man. Yeah. Oh. And the then weight of it and my fuel rock. gauge is going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, well, I about 100 off of it. Gonna be oh, man. <laughs> Jesus, a bit of weight, eh? <laughs> we got way too much stuff as well. I'm oh, sure we've oh. worked through it. We will. Yeah, we've got it now. Yeah, we yeah, already dumped buddy. a heap of stuff that I we mean, were going to take up my mum yesterday. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, this is not right. going to happen. It's going to be fun. So. Cheers, guys. Ching Good ching. trends and future ching adventures. Ching ching, ching ching. So happy for you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> mm -mm. I'll just sip it. I'm just sipping it. Where's the that, video? That went down a bit rough, eh? Thank you.
pretty relaxing day, Tane. Yeah, it's good, eh? First day of the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> that it is, man. We're going to go down to Stony Creek and jump in and have a swim. Now we've got a mad cook on going. Some pulled brisket, that's the plan for dinner. Yeah, I reckon we... Big cook up. Have a bit of a swim for an hour, go back, get the fire cranking, get some coals. Nice. And then we'll... Um, Just go to see it, though. Get onto the whiskey a bit later, eh? Bloody ash, man. Got a special drop. Very good. <laughs> oh, I didn't push record. <laughs> oh. Right, oh, down here at uh, what creek is it again? Up, we're right down here, up to Stony Creek. Up to Stony Creek. Tony's going for his third attempt. He last scored a 48.5. Right, Tony. Oh, it was at this point, Tony knew he f***ed up. What did you do? <laughs> I <laughs> Renee's like, I told you not to get hurt. <laughs> that was funny, eh? What? Mozzie's on your forehead. Oh. You want to talk us through that one, Tone? Could have gone past I eight. completely messed that one up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pretty nice, refreshing swim. The water's bloody cold at first, but she's alright after a couple of minutes. But anyway, I got like a two and a half kilo brisket going in the camp oven. First ever camp up cook up. So with a camp oven that is. So um, we've got to go um, start a fire. It's about two o'clock. So hopefully it's going to be ready by about six or seven tonight. So we'll see how we go. We have mint spot this up a Stony Creek. But anyway, we'll get into it. Right, I got the fire going. Okay, first camp oven cook in the new camp oven. Got two kilo brisket, all seasoned up, courtesy of Meat Co. at Greenfields in Mackay. Bloody beautiful stuff in there, I tell you. So Mornay also hooked me up with some uh, dry wash. Cheers, mate. And this will uh, this be our little snack for the afternoon, I think. Legendary South African butcher. Bloody beautiful. So it's night time. <laughs> it is, man. Right, eh? We've got some uh, 12 year old top shelf dickel. Just, just trying to eat something. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice stuff, eh? Good, eh? And if we polish that off, I've got a full bottle of Maker's Mark as well. Brilliant. Oh, we should start up. You can do the honours, mate. It's pretty good having a freezer. We have some drinking ice. You roll the fingers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a day, day two of travelling time. <clears throat> day two. Day two of life on the road. The, that beautiful um, Upper Stony Creek. We're working out a few things as we go. I guess same same with you guys. It's, um, it's good to actually be out here and relaxing and having a few drinks. See it. Tell me when. When? Oh, it's probably first out, but first one always has to be here. Hundred percent. Right. Oh fuck. Too much. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be a whoopsie. There we go. Smooth sipping small batch. Got to buy small batch stuff. You don't get a headache the next day. Mm. That's true, eh? Yeah. When I when I was about sixteen, I used to hit the the Woodstock and the real McCoy. Oh yeah. Before I made it up to Jim Beam. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, some had some dusty mornings there. Eh? All right. <clears throat> I'll give a little finger stir. 
Yeah, mate. Ching, ching. Ching, ching. Let's get into it. Yo. We get this meat in. Mm, oh, that is good, eh? Right, eh? As I said earlier, two point something, I forget how heavy it was. Brisket. And the plan is to put it in the camp oven. This is the first time I've cooked a camp oven, but Tone's on the camera right now, and uh, he's a bit of a master of it, I think. He's had a bit of practice. So luckily, he's here to make sure I don't go astray and stuff it all up. But I got up early this morning, marinated it, or dry rubbed it in this stuff that old mate gave me from Meat Co. And uh, I've put heaps of foil on it. It's like past the parcel at a birthday right now. So anyway, we'll get this in the camp oven and get it all prepped. Gonna put like half beef stock, half water. See how it ends up. Maybe a bit of red wine. And uh, <coughs> got a nice little hole dug in the ground. We're just gonna like maintain the fire and keep topping up the coals in the ground and on top of the camp oven for about the next four or five hours. So hopefully if it turns out bloody good, and I reckon it will, but the plan is for it to just pull apart and we've got some wraps and some coleslaw. Just get a, uh, just get into uh, a proper hole down. That looks good man. Look at that. I can't even remember what rub he gave me. It was just yellow and orange, and but it's not hot because the girls don't like hot. <coughs> Lemon pepper. Yeah, it looks like it, eh? Something like that. It smells so good. It smells bloody beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to get my fingers so dirty. They are washed. Here we go, on the trivet. We'll get that prepped. Then we've probably got another, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour before we can put some coals out of the fire. See how we go. <clears throat> so how long do you reckon, mate, for this one? About oh, three or four reckon? hours? I, I, reckon, reckon, I reckon close to about four. Yeah, old mate said about four. Yeah. Three to four. Yeah. So it should be about, eight. about 15 drinks. <laughs> we might not even remember how it tastes. <laughs> nah, it won't be that bad. We'll be right. It is whiskey, though. Usually a rum man, but... When you miss the Tony Hotter, you've got to drink some whiskey. <laughs> I'll skip, I'll skip, go. <laughs> we'll check back mm. in later, guys. Cheers, eh? <laughs> right, we're about two thirds in. We just lifted the lid on it, and she's absolutely smelling beautiful. It's sending all sorts of nice aromas around the campsite. We're all getting pretty hungry. But uh, we just st stoked it up with some more coals. And as I said, this is my first time doing it. So I hope she, she turns out pretty good. But um, it's smelling like it is. And we just, as I said, just lifted the lid and it's looking pretty bloody good. So another hour or so, another hour and a half, she should start pulling apart real nice. So pretty keen, but we've got to wait a little bit longer. Oh, there is one. Oh, that's cool, eh? <laughs> if I get an ear, I think I've got some mints from or something. There's two, look. Yeah. Yep, keep doing that time, they're interested. We are taking the adventurous way back to camp. With the appropriate footwear. Hopefully I don't go get tits up. We don't have to go in the water over there though. How bloody beautiful. This is just right at the back of our campsite. And um, yeah, we'll probably come down here tomorrow I reckon. And we're gonna make like a little rock pool. Just move all the rocks away so we can sit in the sand. Little uh, freshwater spa bath. Not that it'll be very warm. I ran this uh, rope down from the top to make uh, the climb up this steep uh, embankment a little bit easier. So yeah, I'll have to put the camera down to get up there. So just gonna test where the, uh, where the meat's at. It's 
falling apart, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon she's good. Pretty bloody good. Whoop. What are your thoughts, Rumbo? Rumbo? Tim Rumble? What? <laughs> oh, God. Here you are. Mate's looking pretty good. Gonna get into it. <laughs> so the plan was to do some brioche rolls and like toast some cheese onto it, but I forgot to get brioche rolls. So I'm just gonna, I saw this once somewhere, I don't know, but they just throw the burger cheese in the fry pan and melt it down, then just scoop it out with a spatula and throw it on our wraps with cold slaw and pulled brisket. So it's gonna be a proper Yankee doodle. And we're all gonna love it. I'm just not sure how much cheese put in it, probably. I'd go for it. Probably that'll do, eh? Yeah. Half a dozen. Goes. So I've got the um, Snow Peak grill in there at the moment. She's going to get real hot. Yeah. I'll leave this out because it's not going to, it's getting a bit cool now, so it's really not going to get too hot. But anyway, we'll come this way, Tone. Yeah, we're just going to fry that straight on. And we're going to melt that down. It's a bit smoky because we've probably snuffed it <laughs> by putting the um, grill on top, but. That's gonna melt that cheese pretty quick, Tone. We're just gonna slap that in our wraps, mate. Yeah, man. And then if you want round two, I'll do it again. Yep. I reckon it'll. Might have to spray some more oil on it, though, eh? It's gonna taste alright. Ooh, be bloody beauty! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, God, that smells so good, Tone. This is gonna be prob. This is my first ever camp up and cook. Thank God you were there, Tone, because. Um, it's pulling apart, alright. Even the, even the rope tastes good. It's a brisket, but I got one without the bone in it because I didn't want to muck around. Oh yeah. I don't think I did all that much though. I, I oh, you, you supervised? Yeah. I, I drank a bit. I'm not quite sure how to proceed though. Like, have we got like a bowl or something I can rip it apart, or do you want me to tip this no, out I a bit? I can just chuck it onto. Probably the tip it out a bit, yeah. Yeah, stir it. Yeah. Oh god. Frothing. Now we'll get rid of this. Just need a couple of forks, Dale. We'll rip that apart. Do you want me to get forks? Yeah, I got them here. Oh, it's sensational, eh? Probably could have gone a little bit longer, to be honest. Oh, that's the top half, though, that's got crispy bark on it. Hey, just... Oh, this way. Yeah, that, yeah, that way. Yeah, against the grain. Like the way of life, Dale. Yeah, it's just like chopping wood. Oh, look at that. It's like chopping wood. And look at that. Just like with the tongs, just ripping straight off. Sorry, put some on. Hold this one for you. That time. Mm, that was good. <laughs> Just throw it on, man. <laughs> He's pretty excited. Here's the tongs for the beef. I'll have round two. Yeah. We'll have to do round two cheese, time. So yeah, I think the, so. Here's the tongs. Oh, God. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it does God. Smell good, hey? There we go. What about slaw, Tony? Yeah. Is this Tony's or mine? No, that's Tim's. Oh, who cares? I've got yeah. Tony's here. That's Tim's, yeah. How much? Jeez. More? Yep, that's it. Good to go. And I'm going to do the, the uh, sauce. I'm going to do the secret sauce on the first one. We got baby rays. We got stubs. And champers. Yeah, we're having that. A bit of a secret sauce. A bit of secret sauce. Yeah. Check it on, bro. Don't be, don't be shy. Oh. How much slaw do you want? <laughs> oh yeah. How good's that? Oh. What happened to the music? 